How do you differentiate having kidney stones versus low back pain? That is the most common differential diagnosis that doctors will have to check when they see patients presenting with symptoms of having pain in the lower back area. And if you want to have a quick check on your own without seeing the doctor, I want you to watch this video. Make sure you watch it till the end because I'm going to describe to you the differences on the symptoms on how you can determine more or less if you have kidney stones or you're having low back pain. Of course, the disclaimer there is this is not absolute. I still recommend if the pain persists, I still recommend you seeing a specialist so that they will be able to check you further and they'll be able to tell you more, more with more certainty if you're having back pains or if you're having kidney stones. Hi, I'm Reggie from Restore Plus Physical Therapy and I help people get pain free and feel alive without pills and medication. And I have been doing so for the past 24 years. If you find value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps a lot. Now let's dive right into it. Now first, let's discuss the common symptoms if you have kidney stones, because it presents with pain in the lower back area, but usually it's more acute, it's more sudden. And also, it doesn't occur with strain or it doesn't occur with any trauma. Not only that, usually the pain from your lower back area, it will wrap around to the side here and goes towards the bladder area. So it is not localized on your lower back. And also, usually it is one-sided. Now for low back pain, it can be acute or sudden also, but usually that is because of a strain or a trauma. Most of the time, back pains tend to become chronic. And also, it can be one side, but it can be both sides as well. In the location, it can be from your lower back area and can be even on the dimples area here and can even be going down to your leg, especially when it radiates down your leg. It can be tingling, numbness, pain, or weakness can even cause atrophy in the long term. So if either one of those symptoms, more likely than not, it is lower back pain. Now I said more likely than not is because there are other causes that can be mimicking those symptoms, such as cancer, that's number one. But that's not what we're discussing in this video. We're differentiating between kidney stones and having back pains. So if you have an acute pain, that is not caused by a trauma or a strain. It's one-sided and wraps around your side here going to your bladder. Chances are you may have kidney stones. But if you have pain on both sides of your lower back caused by a trauma or a strain and it radiates going down the leg, it can be pain, tingling, numbness, or even weakness. Chances are you may have lower back pain. I recommend making a list of those symptoms that I have mentioned to you. So that way you can check off your symptoms one by one and you're more likely to determine which one is which when you're feeling pain on your lower back. But then again, like I mentioned, this is not absolute. It's not foolproof. If, the, if you're not sure or the pain persists even longer, make sure you consult a specialist or you see your doctor to be checked out to make sure that what is causing the problem is not something that can be a more serious concern. I hope you found value in what I have just shared in this video. Thank you very much for your time. I know your time is precious. Please share this with others so that they can be guided when they are having symptoms of pain on their lower back. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel and also turn on your notification so that you can get alerted once our new video comes out every week, sharing more tips on how to get healthy and pain-free. In the meantime, go watch the next video.